Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV Balloon Basics. As you can see, we're joined by the wonderful Chris Horn. Hello. Hello. And today, Chris is going to show us how to inflate an anagram crystal clears balloon. So, Chris, over to you. Okay. There is some confusion over these as to how big they are. Yeah. Um, because there is only one size of product. All the balloons are the same size, but they come out of the packet, but you can inflate them to all different sizes. So, so all these balloons behind us are all are exactly the same. the same balloon, effectively, they just are different indeed. colours, but inflated to different yeah. sizes. So it's a very stretchy material. Yeah. Um, you, you can liken it, I suppose, to the way a latex balloon behaves. It's quite small to start with, but you can make it any yeah. size you like. Yeah. And these do exactly the same. Okay. Um, so let's take it out of the packet. And the first thing I will sort of mention is the fact that these do have a valve. So it yeah. does make it really, really easy for relatively simple balloon work, you have to put clusters underneath them or a bow or something like that, um, then the valve makes it really simple. So we'll insert the inflator. Um, just another little quick tip here. The, the valve, because it's in a clear balloon, sometimes it'd be difficult to find the way in. Yeah. So if you just get it between your finger and thumb and just do that. Ah, okay. Then that will open it. So it's little tips like that, that you might not get from the from the, the packet. Yeah. That's just how to, yeah, that's really it, great. It, you know, I've seen p people get really, really frustrated not yeah. being able to find their way in. So just, just a little, and it will open it up. Brilliant. Okay, so I've got the, the sliding size set to 22 inches, which is the okay. maximum I'd recommend. Yeah. You can do bigger, um, but you do need nerves of steel and they are a bit <laughs> fragile at yeah. that point. So yeah. I think 22 inches is enough. We'll start off inflating and you'll notice that the creases all disappear yep. and it becomes spherical. That's around about 14 inches. Wouldn't recommend that for helium filling. Okay. It will fly, but not for very long. All it's right. just too small. Yeah. But if you're going to do an air-filled centerpiece and you want that at the base of it, then it's fine. fine at 14 okay. inches. But 18 inches, the size of the blue one behind mm -hmm. us, is the minimum I recommend for helium. Okay. And then anything in between. Yeah. So we've got 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'll take this one up to 22, just so you can see how it behaves. Just keep going. Size it from seam to seam, okay. not from front to back, yeah. because you'll notice that it's actually wider this way than that way at this point. So it's not spherical to start with? Not to start with, but within about 20 minutes, half an hour, it will be spherical. Okay. But you size it sideways like this. And there we go, yep. 22 inches. Do be a little bit careful of sharp objects. It doesn't, they don't pierce that easily. They're really quite strong, but they will slice. You can cut them. So if you've got fingernails, a jagged fingernail or something like that, and yes. you're saying you've done that before. Yeah, so. have torn it with a fingernail or yeah. the edge of the table or something. Just be aware of sharp objects. It's a balloon after yeah. all, yeah. but they're more susceptible to cutting than they are piercing. So yeah, it's definitely, what, half an inch, yeah, less wide that way than it is that way. But within half an hour, I'd say it will become spherical. So always and I'll do just it. Tie it off. Seam to seam. Mm -hmm. Seam to seam. And to get the nozzle of the helium valve in there, you just rub it. Yeah, little twist, and there we go. So you've got five colours behind us and the clear one, and that then will give you all the variations you need. Yeah. Okay. Chris, that is perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome.